This is question B6 of the GMO 2019. I personally feel like most of the challenge was, was okay. And this question is absolutely next level in difficulty in comparison. Not only do you have to sort of try and get a, an approach to where you can find all the possible values of n, you have to sort of prove along the way that uh, you have, you know, that you're, it is possible to split it into certain ways and so on, or that it's not possible to split it. So there's a lot going on is what I'm trying to say. When I did this question, I started by splitting one of them into four equilateral triangles. And then I thought, OK, I could split one of them into four or maybe I could split two of them into four or maybe three into four. And I kind of I got some um, results out of it, which were about powers of four. And I would have got some credit for that. But I think the approach that you need is uh, a bit more specific than that. So we're going to we're going to dive straight into it. I'm not saying it's easy to realize to do this at all, but this is about, you know, this is a solution um, method and probably the best method that you would take on this problem. So let's take a look. We know that it's possible to split the equilateral triangle into four. So four is OK. Now, if we go along the same lines as what I said a second ago, we could split one of them into four as well so that would leave us three and then another four here so seven so actually what we're doing is we're splitting one of them into four which means we lose the original one but then we gain another three um, so seven is possible as well now it's whether we get away with just you know writing that down probably should write down yeah split one of the triangles into four um, equilateral triangles because we can just split it in the ratio one of them in the ratio one to one and then they'll all have this angle 60 as you can see like if, as long as you make all these lengths the same okay maybe you'd have you should write that and it doesn't look like it here but this is not drawn accurately um, just have to make that argument that you can do it basically but this this is a good fact to know actually that you can always split a equilateral triangle into four but we could actually rather than taking one of the bigger ones over here split one of these ones into four again basically we can repeat and so what we do is we lose one of the original ones and we gain another three so four seven ten and from a similar argument by then doing it to one of the other smaller ones we can always basically keep adding three So when I did that, I wrote down the nth term of this. It's uh, it's going to be 3n plus 1, where n is uh, greater or equal to 1. I mean, that's by definition, to be honest with the nth term. I'm just going to write it down. I think like we've sort of proven that. Maybe just write down, you know, split triangle into four and then repeat this is not a perfect solution by the way just make sure you got enough writing to you know to prove that result there all right we're going to take a look now at a different way of splitting the triangle up because that was a good approach but uh, as you can see up here this was this gave us 13 but with a completely different sort of uh, way of splitting the triangle Okay, so I suppose, right, it doesn't feel like it's going to be possible to do two or three. Um, can we get five or six? That might be something to think about. Actually, I've just remembered I've got quite a good tool for creating a perfect equilateral triangle. There we go. So what if we made the triangle a bit bigger along here? And then we drew some equilateral triangles in. How how would this work? Okay, now it feels like if I drew the line correctly that they would all be equilateral. Maybe I just need to make it a little bit bigger actually along here. Ah that's yeah that's better. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I haven't quite proven that that is possible to do. 
So let's just take a look at this. This is in the ratio uh, 2 to 1, which means the whole length is going to be 3. So yeah, that's going to be 2 and 1. These are not necessarily the side lengths, they're just the ratio, but I could make them the side lengths. And I've got 1, 1, 1. So 6 will be possible. Like this all checks out basically when it's in the ratio 2 to 1. Ratios in diagram work out. Okay, just some words to that effect I think are needed. And once we've got that, we can then do exactly what we did before. We can just choose one of the smaller triangles, or any one of the triangles to be honest, and then split it into four. So we're going to lose one of them but gain another four. So basically we're going to gain three. And so nine is going to be possible. And then we could do the same again, like here. Twelve, fifteen, and so on. And that gives me 3n plus 3. So n greater to or equal to 1 is possible. So use setup shown. And then split one triangle into four, as before, and repeat. So we started with this, um, this triangle here, and actually it's in the ratio one to one when you look at the smaller triangles. Then we kind of stumbled across this one and justified it. That was in the ratio two to one. Now, a natural thing then to do seems to be, what about making it 3 to 1? Okay, and I'm going to try and draw this as accurately as I can. So, 3 to 1, right. Um, maybe it's like here, for example. I might need to redraw it, but let's give it a go. Okay, so I've managed, uh, here I had three and now I've got four along there. Ah, oh, that checks out again. So three to one, and these are all one, 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 one. Okay, that all, that all works. Um, and how many triangles to get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I haven't managed to get eight so far, so this is great. Okay, and then, by the way, I'm not saying that this is obvious to do, but you can at least see that we're, we're finding solutions, okay? Eight works. Split into three to one. And then we can use exact this method that has worked before. Okay, split, just choose a single triangle, split it, now into 4, so that's going to make it 11, 14, 17, and so on. It's going to be 3n plus 5, where n is greater or equal to 1 possible. I'm just going to write the same approach as before. All right, and so I've got all my multiples. I've got one more than a multiple of three. This is actually, these are actually my multiples of three. And here, these are two more than a multiple of three, in fact. So I've managed to get four, six, uh, did that a seven, eight. I'm just going to write them down, actually. So four. Um, is it six? Five, I've already forgotten. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven are all possible. The original question was asking about n greater than 1. So what we're left with are 2, 3, or 5 possible. The fact that we've not found them using these constructions could well mean that they're not possible, but we do need to delve into that a little bit. And again, that's one of the reasons why that makes this question quite hard. So we're going to look into that now. Let's take a look at this. Right, one thing to note, it's actually quite subtle and we've not spoken about it before, but all the extra lines drawn in from the original triangle have always been parallel to one of the three lines drawn. We have to maintain the 60 degrees and so that has to be the case. Okay, it was the case here as well. So any Pen is just uh, momentarily not working. Here we go. Any lines added must be parallel to one of the original three. maintain 60 degrees in the triangles. What I mean is that if I start drawing a line that's not parallel like that immediately there's no way that these two would be the same. Hey, I feel like that's uh, there's enough there to, yeah, to justify that. So Let's take a look at two triangles. I'm trying to get two triangles. Now, because of what I've said, we're going to have to draw a line that's parallel. So the only really thing that we can do is this, or equivalently this, or, uh, or this. Basically, two is not going to be possible. Because of the above facts. Do you know what? I'm not going to say because of the above facts. Just, just by looking at it, we can see it's not going to work. I feel like that's enough. You know, the, the competition might expect you to go into more detail, but that is all I'm going to give here, to be honest. For three, we're going to have to do the same again. Okay, a parallel line to start with. And we've got a triangle here. Now, the, now the next one would also have to be parallel. But you can see there's no way that we can get three. Try as you might. That is, to be honest, the route I'm going down with my solution. I'm not going to get into lots of technical detail. I'm just going to show some diagrams, show like that is, you know, these are, this is basically the only thing I could do to try and split into two. There's no way that the bottom can also be a triangle to get yeah, these angles, because that would be 120. We can only use one line to split it. Okay, I'm right a bit more after all. Right, three is not going to be possible. Now, there are going to be more ways to try and do it, but like once you've got one triangle, you're not going to want to draw your third line sort of up here. There's no way that's going to work. So we'll get at best, okay, because we could do worse than this, at best two triangles and a rhombus. Yeah, if I drew my line elsewhere, I could make it worse. I could sort of put one uh, here, then I'd get a triangle and a tra two trapezia. 
but if I'm trying to get to the triangles, then yeah, the best option is going to be this. Okay, I'm happy with that. 